Good morning, everyone, from one of China's most photogenic places, Yangshuo. I'm sure you guys have all seen the beautiful photos of this place on Instagram, and you're wondering what it's actually like. So today, I'm here to take you with me on a tour of Yangshuo, a little bit off the beaten path because I'm not a super big fan of the commercialized areas and the super touristy areas. We're going to be checking out some of the surrounding countryside and just seeing what is life like in Yangshuo. How does this place compare to the photos we've all seen on Instagram? So, hope you guys will be joining me. Let's check out Yangshuo. I've been to cities with mountain scenery before, but this is something else. The mountains are right in your face. There is no escape. Everywhere you look, there are mountains towering over you, woven in between the city buildings. Some are so close you can even touch them. Yangshuo is a very touristy place. It's one of China's most famous tourist towns, but there is normal local life interspersed among it. For every market street, theme park, and cute boutique hotel, there's a local farmer tending to their crops to a backdrop of karst mountains, or a guy leading his cows through the village streets, or a kid playing in an ancient alleyway. And I'm here for all of it, every single detail. One of Yangshuo's most iconic images is these guys, the cormorant fishermen. But where exactly do you find them? And does this ancient art still exist, or is it just an aesthetic now? Wei and I encountered one of these fishermen as we passed by a famous photo spot, which is featured on the 20 RMB bill. He retired from sustenance fishing a few decades ago and is now getting that bread by taking photos here for 20 RMB apiece, or being hired by professional photographers for photo shoots out on the water. His name is Mr. Huang, and he told us that he started cormorant fishing at around the age of 10. It's a method of fishing where a string is put around the bird's neck, so when it dives into the water and catches fish, it can only swallow the small ones, while the fisherman keeps the big ones. Compared to his grandson's experience in a modern big city like Guilin, the life Mr. Huang led growing up might as well have been on a different planet. What Mr. Huang and others in his age group have experienced in their lives is like the kind of changes the U.S. went through from 1700 to 2000. You can get an idea of it by traveling through the villages around Yangshuo. There's the old mud brick houses right next to the new concrete houses. The locals didn't bother to demolish their old family homes. It's really a reminder of how much living conditions have improved. Hello. Hello. And it's not just here, in this famous tourist town that has undeniably been boosted by money from all over the country and the world. Dramatic comparisons like this can be found in villages all over China. Chanango it's bittersweet that he is the last generation of cormorant fishermen. That's the case with many ancient professions that are disappearing because they're just too much effort for too little money. Even though the ancient art of cormorant fishing has more or less disappeared, the new age art of cormorant photography is very much healthy and alive. On my way down the riverbank, I even encountered Mr. Huang's brother, who also does photos with tourists, with a bonus accessory, a waterproof poncho made out of pine needles. Oh, 
。啊、哦，可惜，他哥哥唱歌还不错。<笑> Aside from the cormorant fisherman, another very photogenic Yangshuo icon is the bamboo raft. It's very romantic to float down the jade waters of the river on a bamboo raft with the karst landscape on all sides. But it's early March right now and not warm enough outside for people to want to get soaked with cold river water. So the bamboo rafts are all napping and waiting for summer. But I did discover quite a few fake bamboo rafts in the river, made out of metal or plastic, in the shape of bamboo. 正常的竹子小河有，这个是私人，私人做的，不是来旅游的。哦、oh, ，这是私人的船。对。那私人的船怎么还弄那个竹子的形状啊？<笑>这个浮力好。哦、oh.。它这个浮力好。哦、oh.。竹子的浮力没那么好。So thank you, tourists, and your love for real, authentic bamboo. It is you who have kept the art of bamboo rafts alive. As for everyday use among the locals, plastic and metal have defeated the mighty bamboo. But why go through the trouble of making fake bamboo in the first place? The lady on the shore told me it's because regular boats need a license, and bamboo rafts do not. Fake bamboo included. During my time in Yangshuo, I saw lots of locals prowling the river on their metal bamboo rafts. Although cormorant fishing is officially out. Catching tiny shrimp with a tiny net is in. These shrimp are very much in demand at the roadside food stands, where they are a core ingredient in whatever these things are called. Shrimp pancakes? I don't know. Indeed, there is street food everywhere here. But we cannot get distracted because we are here on a mission to be basic and take Instagram photos in the rapeseed flowers. Another one of Yang Shuo's highly photogenic items that is absolutely worth the hype. I mean, look at them! Come on, who can pass by there and resist that? I can see why this place became a renowned tourist destination because it's just so photogenic. You will not believe how long it took me to sort through all the insane amount of footage we captured for this video. And even in places where the mountains aren't directly visible, you're still constantly reminded of them with things like murals and billboards and these cool little rock and plant arrangements that look like karst mountains. That's life around here. Beautiful scenery, 24/7. That's Yangshuo. The mountain scenery is out of this world. I see what all the fuss is about. It's the perfect serene escape from the rat race. China has changed so fast that life here is almost unrecognizable from the life of the younger generations in urban areas. It's a completely different world. This is such a unique time to be traveling in China. The younger half of the country is the children of an industrial colossus, and the older half is the last generation of thousands of years of small farmer society. What a time to explore this country and hear its stories! If you go to Yangshuo, I highly recommend taking a day or two to explore the world beyond the famous Instagram shots and the tourist brochure items. Just get a bike or a scooter or even your own two feet and try to explore a little bit off the beaten path. Walk through some random alleys, chat with the locals, observe the subtle details of the landscape, dig deeper into the fascinating and beautiful place that is Yangshuo. You won't regret it.